Welcome back, everyone. We saw your comments. We know you want it. So we're here. Finally. We're working our way into the Lindemann album. Um, it's taken us a moment. It is. We're Playing getting catch there, up though. a motherfucker. Just, you know. But we're here for... Who are we here for? Well, we're here for Till. But what's the song called? Entre dos tierras. That's what. That's what we're here for. We're here for. The official video link will be down below, and our links will be down there as well. So there you go. We looked up the translated lyrics before we got before we got here. Can't honestly figure out what it's about. Someone is failing, but they can't blame Till for their fall. You know? That's what you got from it? Yeah, kind of. Like, it's someone that, I don't know. Hmm. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Do it. And now we're going to check out this song. And watch the official release at the links below. Let's go. Do you have dreads? That sound was unnerving. I mean, I like the depth he hits with that. Ooh. It's fucking sweet. I like that. Too. And he rolls his R's to the point that I'd almost call it purring. I think he really enjoys doing that. I really enjoy him doing that. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I like that. Why did he just snort? Oh! Back on the plane, right there. <laughs> Did you see that? How he was back on that airplane? Yeah, he's had a fucking hell of a ride since that flight started. God damn. <laughs> I don't know what the Sharon Stone moment is. Oh man, I of course draw a blank on it now. Big '90s movie with. Uh, Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas, and there's a scene where she uncrosses her legs, and you have full upskirt view, and then she recrosses her legs. So that's what that reminded me of. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, uh, that song kicked ass. There were parts of it that actually kind of reminded me of one of my favorite bands, Him. There, there are parts of it. I was like, man, this kind of sounds like some later Him songs. Uh, I fucking loved it. That's great. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that was Spanish. Right? Yes, definitely. And I felt like it was. Um, that was a fire, fire track. I love Till's vocals in it. Love the, the, not just really rolling of R's, but like elongated rolling of R's. He always makes everything sound so good. And he's he got the sensual side, which is probably what also gives you him vibes. Not so much his vocals. It was it's more so the, the instrumentation mm. of this song. Well, uh, they definitely both have that that way. Yeah. Yeah, they do. The video was weird, uh, but I expected nothing more. <laughs> the lady crawling sideways towards him, naked in the jungle. <laughs> Shit like that is in horror movies. Yes. And then he got something blown up his nose with a... A blowgun. I thought it was about to, the thing was about to get shoved up his nostril. So I braced for that. I thought the wooden thing was just about to, I don't know. It made me nervous that that thing was going in his nostril. Was his skin really rotting? You know, the like the little face thing. Right. People have a phobia of that. Those holes like yeah, that. That's an interesting thing to me. The things we have phobias of. They, that unnerves me a bit, though, in certain situ that situation. Mm -hmm. It unnerved me. I don't, I just, I guess I don't, okay. But like honeycomb, that wouldn't bother right, me. Right, right. Those are, those are interesting ones. And then you have people that are terrified of olives. Like have we're, olive phobias. We're getting a little off. We're, I just went off the rails with this. Anyway, the song was great. Loved Till's performance. The video was weird, wacky. The way it ended. I'm hoping we get more videos. I, I like Till with dreads, too. He didn't grow those motherfuckers that fast. Come on, now. I don't think so. I don't think so. I still enjoyed it, though. It was really good. Thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And tell us what you thought about the song and video in the comments below. Goodbye. Goodbye.